<clears throat> so I've done a little bit of naming um, of my dwarves. Here's what's going to happen today. So, um, yeah, uh, yesterday, or, or last time here, was yesterday, on, on Dwarf Fortress lands, um, we have our, uh, our pyramid, right? We're building a pyramid. A pyramid complete with obelisks. So you're not really a pyramid unless you have obelisks. So we have those as well. We did that last time. We got a nice road in there. What a nice, peaceful volcano you're thinking. What a happy place. Well, um, the whole story here is we've got our empire who's kind of fallen apart. And we've built our place. 100 and 114 dwarves live in here. Or 114 people, I should say, live in here. Uh, there's a couple other settlements there, but they're basically gone. So this is the only bastion of our empire. We've been attacked multiple times from multiple places. Goblins, humans, necromancers, werebeasts. Well, yesterday we had enough. We thought, you know what? That's enough. And so we went out, we rampaged, and we uh, we, we, we don't mind the dead bodies. Don't ignore those. We'll talk about those in a minute. We, we stormed across the world. Got tired of getting attacked by this this tower over here. Well, you may notice there's no one living there anymore because we destroyed it. Um, and a little thing about Dwarf Fortress, if you don't know, is towers have books. And the books have certain artifacts. And those certain artifacts is what makes people into necromancers. Well, we now have those that book in our library. And there's just like a whole bunch of folks that are reading that book. And... Um, by doing so, we have a lot of vampires. Doom Jr., uh, the uh, Smexy, I say vampire, vampire and necromancers. We have a lot of necromancers in this fortress now. Necromancer, necromancer, necromancer. There's so many of them. Necromancer. Uh, I've also I've gone in here. I went through my um, my um, my Patreon list. I got a Patreon, Twitch, and and uh, YouTube supporter list. Started putting some names in here, so I got a lot. Of, I've had a lot of names in here. Um, necromancer and, and more necromancers and more necromancers and so what's going to happen here is it's going to be kind of interesting this guy used to be a poet but now he raises the dead um, it's going to be interesting so there's a lot of necromancers in this fortress which is fine problem is when necromancers get scared they start raising the dead and so we're going to you know what I'm not going to spoil what's going to happen boy just just take that as an idea of what's probably going to happen here. Um, there's a lot of dead things laying around. We got to deal with. A lot of we got attacked by goblins multiple times, and they're dead over there. There's a little uh, little zombie there. Uh, lots and lots of dead things down here, including corpses. I think what I'm going to do is maybe this will help with our our problem. Is I'm just going to start throwing things into an atom smasher and start smashing this stuff up. I think it's probably going to be the best thing we can do. Um, also, uh, maybe to help with some pathfinding, I'm going to set some, some lanes here and set like a priority lane. And I think this should do us some good. I don't think there's anything really an issue here, but, um, the issue is going to be down this way. So like if, like, especially all these tunnels come, becomes an issue, especially when you start having these branches out here. So if we set up some priority things, maybe this will help us out a little bit. So we'll go, where's my staircase to do there? Is there a staircase under there? Yeah, there is. So we'll go like, um, we'll go just straight down here. And I think something else you can do to help with, with, with pathfinding is we can actually like block off some of this stuff. I think that would help as well, but, um, well, we'll see. So I'm going to make sure that that is prioritized, which is going to, there's not really any other way of doing it. Um, yeah, not really any other way of getting there, but there's a, we've got a lot of junk laying around, and so if we could take care of the junk, I think that might help out some things as well. We could do like a like a priority walk thing around here, so maybe they kind of focus walking around. These one aisle, I was, I was doing a lot of reading on FPS things. Um, uh, mark off dead ends as low traffic. This way, the pathfinding will use those areas last. Helps me think of, yeah, so like um, um, cutting off that stuff like down here, so they don't come down here, like with like a, like a low one. I don't need restricted, I'll just do low. Like that, that's all we really need to do there. That'll help keep it less. There's no reason to go down there. Just to save on, on people walking around like idiots. I know that, um... I never really used the priority system in, in old Dwarf Fortress, but in, uh, in this one, from what I understand, um... I lost my train of thought there. 
Um, oh, right, right, right. So if you went, if you go down into these caverns, what you want to do is you want to like block them off, basically. And so like, um, if you don't you want to use caverns, you just block it off. So then that saves a lot of. Path. This is a big pathfinding mess down here. Which, um, how to be, maybe it might be a bad idea to tear it, to stop having that, but I do have people coming in here and hunting and all that, so that, we could try it, just to see what it does. As an, as an experiment, to see if that would actually help us any. Um, because I want this fortress to, I say survive, but I want this fortress to, to go somewhere. Um. And I'd like it to not just sort of, like, die. Um. Also, the goal here is to see if I can get, uh, um, a kingdom so that I can build another fortress later on. And the thing is, though, we've got all this with the uh, the necromancers. So now we're going to have, when we build another fortress in this world, we're going to have more necromancers coming in and visiting us. So necromancy, necromancy is going to be a problem or a benefit here in the, uh, in the future days of this fortress. Like that's a fine path there. I forgot about that office there. It's my manager spots. Yeah, I don't need to stop them from owning the areas, but I just I just need them to like have a like rather than like walking through these doorways and getting kind of lost. Um, this will save some 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 time, and all these little one-way hallways can be easily taken care of. Um, this cannot easily so much, but um, yeah, try to try to avoid one one-way aisles basically because that causes problems. We got one over here also. Um, yeah, so that's that's kind of the goal here. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is uh, I, I I don't I can't really come up with any ideas for this time around here because things are going to get crazy. I have a feeling things are going to get very crazy, and so um, we may not be here very long, depending on how crazy it gets. That's all. That's all I'll say about that. So we'll see how that plays out. Because um, actually, my friend actually isn't terrible. That's well, trickling down. Actually, sitting at 64. Remember last night? Uh, yesterday, we were sitting at like four in the 40s. So we're getting there. So uh, we'll dump the like the goblin bodies. You know, they they can get tossed out of here. It's gonna make people real mad because there's a lot of dead bodies. Plus, we had a we had a, an issue with with um, some people dying. Uh, so we gotta get rid of that. Also, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of atom smashing. So what I can do is, I've got, this is my dumping stockpile right here, so throwing them down there. I can just build a bridge real quick, smash some stuff. Problem solved. I wanna make sure we get rid of that. I think that's, I think that's a, a ramp right there, is it not? I can't tell. I don't, I guess not. But we can build a bridge right there, smash. Done. Yeah, everyone's, everyone's pretty mad right now. I have to go there. You're actually going down into there. Throw it in there. You are, aren't you? Oh, did I just channel that? I did, didn't I? <laughs> Whoops. Um, I wanted to re remove ramps. That's what I meant to do. Not that one. Oh, was that Solarian throwing a tantrum in there? Crossbowmen visiting us. The merchants uh, are, are going to leave. Yeah, yeah. So the dwarves came in last time, which made us a... Um, what? Why is Claiborne dead? Why is Oasis dead? Because he's going nuts. Who who is it? Who are you fighting? Is there a troll in here? Is that old? I think it's old. Where's Oasis? Oasis the Necromancer's dead. And you're up up there. It, where's all these shenanigans going on? Thuthu's been found dead. Whoa, what's happening? Okay, where's where's Thuthu? Look for Thuthu. There's a lot of fighting going on. Who's what's with all the fighting? You're fighting the axe. The, yeah, the axe lord is fighting. Is fighting everyone. But you're in a different place. I 
Like I said, this may end real quick. Um, I don't know where he is. It's our Axe Lord. Um, let me see if anyone's like going nuts. We should have a haggard person in here that's causing a few problems. Hmm. Rat Jam is undead, huh? Rat Jam? I remember Rat Jam. Are you undead? What are you uh, just hanging out over there for? There's a lot of fighting going on. We need a good champion. Champion, we know who that's going to be. If I can get her in here. Actually, we got a, we got a few we can choose from. Am I allowed to put humans in here? I guess not. We'll put... We'll, oh, Zan died. That's right, Zan died. But we got uh, uh, old Queenel or whatever her name was. I don't think I can put her in here. So we're going to put in... Um... Um, Mirez. There we go. Okay. Leaving soon. Dunder is fighting. Maybe the the dying is is done for. There's there's still some fighting going on. This is the it's a militia commander, right? That's that's what's going on. way to start this thing off. Uh, is it Locum? Locum who lost her mind? Easy way of finding him. Locum. Locum, Locum. Which one? This one. It says you're resting. Are you resting? Okay, need some... Oh, we need logs. Okay, the caravan's on their way. They've left. So they'll be back here in a year. Okay. Okay. See, all is fine. What a lovely fortress. I can't think of a better place to spend my days. Um, uh, and then and then perhaps days after that as well. Thanks, Masterlift. Does this version have the loyalty cascade? I don't know. You know what? I haven't... Um, I haven't come across that. I've had, like, a lot of really angry people, but I haven't had that yet. I don't know that I've played played one long enough to have that a problem though. <sighs> no, our wounded are, should, are automatically getting recovered. They get thrown here in the in the mid bay. And this is this is our library, our giant library, which holds so much stuff. Maybe there's just too much. Maybe it needs to be bigger. Maybe we should pump this the wall out here so we have more library space because I got a lot of books. How's everyone doing over here? We lost a couple there. We lost... No no, no archers are gone, and none of them are gone. So we got a couple of these fellas that are gone, so we'll pop some new folks in there. Keep these squads full so they can go and train. Uh, we'll get Java the Cheesemaker, and um, uh, Doom Jr., the, the uh, Necromancer. Like, if we got some Necromancers in the army, I hope I hope they would do the Necromancy things when they're out on, on expedition. I don't know how to find if that is a thing. Um, in this, I'm not sure. But I sure hope so. Need logs. Need silver bars. Need logs. Okay. Uh, Thele, the Holy Gate, is visiting. Oh my. We need some crutches, apparently. So make me some crutches. Make me ten crutches. I uh, make me ten splints by your edits. This is something that I just probably could do, like a work order for this, but I'm trying to make, make some of those things. Uh, did I ever figure out what to do about getting... I didn't. It's a kiln, right? We make uh, plaster powder. Can I just do it now? Is there anything that's missing for it? I got loads of limestone. That's, that's powdery. I think I think limestone counts. I know chalk does. I think I got some of that too. They seem to be getting kind of hurt all over. 
Oh, gypsum. Gypsum works. There's a giant Olm down there fighting. Normally you can kind of tell because you can see what else is fighting. But they were clearly fighting each other. I think it was because my, my, my guy went kind of nuts. It was haggard and was over there throwing punches and things. And probably, he's probably, he pre Locum is a pretty good fighter. So he probably threw some good punches. Clean Rag is uh, haunting the fortress. I don't know if I have... I think I have... I do. I know I have one. Another one of these. Okay, get him done. So what I was going to do is... I was going to make a bridge here and start smacking some things. So let's just dig this out real quick. Build a bridge right there, and we'll just do some atom smashing to clean all this stuff up. Because that should help with with the uh, frame rate as well. Less items, less uh, less problems. One of these days, I'll learn my keyboard commands. Well, not this day. Um, I might need more. Actually, I might need to turn this into a, a secondary tomb. Or we have a whole other level here. This could be... We can move our whole tomb up here. Actually. Yeah, someone's dropping the rope in the pyramid. We could do, like, one giant tomb up here. People throwing their clothes off. There's just... There's Thuthu. I think... Yeah, I think something... He was here. Because he was hitting people in the, in the library. Luckily, no one, nothing, no one raised any dead, though, while we were here. Um, we got any gear yet? Javid, you got everything everything but gloves. Okay. And Doom Jr. doesn't have any armor. You're a dwarf, so I need I need an armor, a helmet, and a glove. What do we got? We do have some iron. We have plenty of copper. Copper's not very good. We have plenty of steel. So, um, armor, helmet, two gloves. Okay, so we'll steal breastplates. Oh, well, now what? Uh-oh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait a minute, what's all out there? Somebody decided they, had, they were going to be funny. And they went and started raising some, at ra <laughs> What was that? An agitated porcupine. I don't mess with, I, that's the worst kind of porcupine. Is it you? You're not an agromancer. So somebody got scared, I guess, and started started raising things. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, can we go? Um, um, well, there's like there's like ram skeletons, and uh, okay, let's go. Just come over here and kill this thing. Can we see what happens? I don't understand your farm dead. So niche niche was fighting. So niche, yeah, yeah. So here's what happened. So Niche comes over here and starts gesturing. And then the arm begins to shudder and move, and Poby's arm, and then the, the another dwarf surgeon necromancer was, was raising, and so then more people are starting to raise the dead. And um, lots of people thought, hey, that's a good idea. I should r start raising the dead as well. So let's get the army in here and see if we can keep, the, keep this under control. It's not going to be a good end. It's going to go on there. <laughs> <laughs> These are gonna keep on. These aren't. This isn't the full thing. Like this is. Uh, well, maybe this one is actually. Um, the feathered humanoid has wings. Um, upper body's gone. I, I don't know what part of her body it is. Oh, hand. It's just. It's just its hand. It's all that thing is. Okay. So yeah, this this atom smash is gonna be even more important. 
How can you how can you control the undead characters? Well, you can't control the undead characters. That's out there. Okay. My guy's just gonna hang out there, I guess. Just having a good time. Look, there's a cat. It's like a Batman cat. What's going on with his eyes? Chasing that cat up, up the pyramid. We got this thing. You guys, uh, you guys okay with this thing over here? He's not like a bad guy. You gotta go worry about. The lich has been found dead. Oh, doctor, in there? How'd that happen? The lich was fighting. Fighting what? The hand of Igu Spearman uh, grabs the chief medical dwarf by the second toe. Oh, did you get attacked and then you ran up and and you, s yeah. A dill skeleton gore the chief in the arm. Is a dill skeleton up here? I think he got hurt and then ran up here to the, the to the doctor and then died. That's what's happened there. Okay. This is clearly a mess. Come over here and get this one. Wendy's dead. <laughs> this isn't good. Um, okay, so the only thing we can really do is we can get these bodies out of here. Um, I got this thing made. Let me pause real quick and see if we can get this taken care of. So we're going to come in here. We're going to make ourselves a bridge and go um, that way. Like that. Okay. So go make a bridge real quick. Um... And then we'll get a lever. We'll stick the lever out here somewhere. Put the lever like, I don't know. Here. No mechanisms. So all these body parts that you see on the ground right now, they've got to get dumped. So we need to go into our uh, standing orders and say that... Um, where was it? Dump, dumping? Yeah, yeah. Dump skulls, dump bones, dump everything. Ha even even hair needs to go in there. It needs to get dumped. It's got to get dumped. I'm not sure what other object counts as. That's like clothing and things, right? So we're going to try to... Hopefully we can get that. Hey, Draven, thanks for the raid. Okay. So we got to get all that stuff dumped quick. So any body parts are going to be away and not here. Um, we'll deal with the dead that are walking around right now. But once they're dealt with, in a minute, James Cashman has been found dead. What was it? To our fortress. How's your fortress doing, Draven? That guy's missing some body parts. These should automatically be getting dumped, but I'm going to go ahead and encourage encourage the dump. Remember when my frame rate was, was looking good at 60? I'm just going to dump all this stuff. All these body parts have got to get out of here, because as soon as somebody gets scared, they're going to start raising things up. Probably a bad time to have some necromancers in the fortress. Seems there's a lot of people getting scared up up here. So if there's anything up here that needs to get dumped, let's do that. Right, get that stuff out of here. It's like pig parts. We're at nine right now. Okay, when that gets made, um, which is happening right now, let's go get a. Um, we're at ten frames a second. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. Um, it's because of all the body parts are running around. Let me go to the mechanic shop here, which is this one. And make a couple a couple mechanisms. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No one's neural. No one's very happy being here. I don't know why. Seems like a nice place to me. Okay, back up to forty. Okay, all that stuff. Get it all out of here. Into the trash. Any body parts? They gotta go. I'm 
We're going to go over there and we're going to smash him. Uh, they, what, what happens to body, uh, undead? They eventually get, like, like, turned into a pulp, I think is what happens. They're, t they're tough to kill. I've had, like, where, like, a hand just, like, wouldn't, wouldn't die. Before. Okay, so all those things, it's just, it's just a, um. Here we go, let's, let's do this. So, we'll use the path. Dump that stuff. I guess this guy's, like, our buddy. I don't know why he's there. He's kind of freaky. But uh, if he wants to hang out and just, like, you know, scare the neighbors, that's fine, I suppose. Clean Rag and, and Rat Jam are both hanging out. Um, we got a Dwarf Rosen Hunter who's friendly. We got a few friendly folks. Yeah, if you're in uh, a haunted biome, which is where my, when I made that green glass tower, I did a, hunt a haunted biome um, for that reason because... Anytime there's a there's a body part laying on the ground, it'll it'll raise up. Put the well or the lever right there, I guess. Oh, whoops! It's on top of the bridge, isn't it? So, <laughs> so we're gonna fling those things around a little bit. <laughs> when we pull this lever, they're gonna go flying everywhere. <laughs> Coolest fort with everyone. Yeah, everyone was killed with an undead human with a sock. Yeah, with the sock. I'm the sock. I, if I was like real crafty, I could like put a face on here. I, I wish there was like a little bit of way of, of, of reducing the amount of fog. Something. Yeah, it's about to be a, it's about to be a trash catapult. So it's fine having a necromancer fortress as long as there's no body parts around. This guy's got to take his body parts off and put them away. Very distracting. <laughs> 43. Man, I never see people. They just really hate this place. <laughs> what a miserable place. It's also an issue having a having a butcher around because you've got like, you know, uh, these aren't too bad, but but. Well, you, you can understand. Butchers are me a problem. Ah, uh, the axe. Sazir, the axe lord, is throwing a tantrum. Is that you? I'm gonna we'll keep an eye on on um. Is he? Who's Sazir? That's not Sazir. Sazir, here they are. I'm gonna keep an eye on them. They're haggard. If they go around like throwing fists, then we're gonna have a problem. Because they're gonna scare people, and then we don't like that. So you punches the you're punching the necromancer, punching the necromancer or the uh, the messenger. I'm sorry, the, me the messenger necromancer. Get that out of here. Maybe they're punching people. I have to put you down. Okay, so let's tie this thing. Let's link this to the bridge. Did it work? Link lever. Okay, it's got it already. Throw that guy away. More fighting going on. Don't scare the necromancers. Okay, there's a corpse. Uh, just a bird. Get him out of here. Uh, necromancer, a cat child. Necromancer is fighting a giant eagle. Get out of here, eagles. Oh, over here. Are you the giant? Agitated giant crow. Oh, okay. Go get it. Everybody go get it. No. Ah. Killed her.
Nasty crows. There's a dead one. Okay, I think we got them all. Well, someone's still around. I saw an arrow fly this way. He must be in the air somewhere. Mm, just hang out there. If they come back, you get them, okay? Throw all this stuff away. Doran's dead. Is it a goblin merchant is visiting? Is that what it's in? No, right, right. I think it's goblin people. Goblin. Just a goblin. Shooting something. I suppose there's an easier way of doing this. Oh, there's a bunch of them. And they're way up here. Well, just hang around. Um... I don't know. Forget, forget that. Go go do whatever your job is. The three, <laughs> three people who are happy, probably very drunk. Uh, Tholtig is very happy, cleaning himself up. Tholtig, wh why are you so happy? Vengeful. Uh, I have a, a part in this. This might require an answer. Um, You are very happy. Why are you, why are you so happy? You had a good dining room. You had a bath. Uh, you're scared about really about being haunted by the dead. You were performed the rites of silvery communion in a dedicated temple. That's you know that, that's a good pickup. Bad with words. Poor focus. Okay, we got those in there. Is that thing done now? All right, so it's about to be real exciting here in a second. <laughs> as soon as my frame rate controls, there's a troll skeleton. Where's this at? Oh, downstairs. Let's do a little clean up here. Clean that up. And uh, we'll, we'll clean a little bit of this up. Um, like what I may do... I was going to lock those doors. I can't do it right now because everyone's outside here. Oh, there's a... Uh, the toad came in. Okay, we'll get that stuff dumped. No reason to have that around. Except for that. Okay, has it been, has it been linked? Has it been, hasn't been pulled yet. The squirrel's down there. <laughs> Wait, did it not link it? Link it to the bridge. Why? Why can't it link it to the bridge? It cannot link to limestone bridge. Why? Because of that? Homegrown necromancers. That's right. It's the best kind. Organic. <clears throat> how long did it take you to learn the stairs and how to use them in the old version of Dwarf Fortress? That's probably the, probably the most challenging part of the old version. Oh, Six is dead. What happened to you over here, Six? When, oh, you're going to do another bird. These birds are just driving me nuts. Ah, Aesob's dead too. Get the military over here. Get these birds out of here. I I watched a um, Das Tactic has a has a tutorial specifically on stairs. I think I think that's I think it's probably where I learned them about stairs and how to how to deal with them. It's like that was one of the things that really um, like perplexed me at the beginning days of of trying to figure out Dwarf Fortress. Um, it did, however, like it kind of clicks. Like something about it clicked, and I don't understand why I can't link this bridge up. Cannot link to Limestone Bridge. Why? Is it because there's things on it? Or can I link to it? Why can't I put it there? Is it because there's things on it? Everyone's missing... Why is it telling me the same 
person's been missing for a week. Yeah, I get uh, Keycroft's missing for a week. Keyvish is missing for a week. Yeah, it's okay. It happens. Why do you think I can't do that? I'm tempted to go straight out and just see if we can find some magma. Toss in the magma. Problem solved. Oh, it hasn't been built yet. Ah, that explains it. Looks like they got that one bird taken care of. There's certainly more of them, though. I missed being able to, like, just select from a list different animals to go kill. This guy's got a name. So he's, he's, uh, he's been, he's killed before. He got toasted. Alright, so it was a built now. Why? Item blocking site. That's because there's junk in the way. Well, all right. You know what? The trenches of webbing. You come on in. There's a name like that. You you are you can you can come on right on right on in. Uh, how many does? I guess I can make it go down further and make a and make a bridge that's ready for it. Like, they're kind of tricky here, but we can do like this, and then um. Channel down. <clears throat> and I think we can just dig that out. And then when we chant, then we'll, we'll build our bridge, then we'll channel down. We'll raise our bridge, channel down, and smash. Oh, they're killing my puppies now. No, the bridge. The problem is that stuff's on the bridge. Is that not connected? Oh, yeah. There's a problem with our. Oh, problem with our stairs. I think. I think that's the problem because this is a downstairs and not not an upstair. Actually, that might actually fix the problem. Udib has uh, claimed something there. So I think if, if that gets done, then we can... That, that should fix it. Who wants to dig that out? Claiborne. Um, if, as a matter of fact, you died. You were the first death today. So my, my squads are actually still good. You know what? Let's go, let's go kill something. We've got necromancers in our squads, so I expect results. We've got a little human town over here, which is which is dangerously close to us. These places have anything worth taking? I need. We need more books. More books. More books. Now yeah, there's goblins over there. Goblin forest retreat, and they have books. Shady flies. I think we're gonna go there. I'm going to send my main squad. They can probably do it on their own. I think we're just going to burn the place down. Uh, I th uh, we'll find out if they're not all if they're all able to go. Some of them might be in in the uh, hospital. There's something yeah, something up with with uh, with my stairs here. Stairs are kind of a pain.
spinner and my milker. They can go do that. I also need to make sure that these are all filled. They are not. So we don't need a hammer, but we need a manager, which is going to be id. Uh, no, not id, because id's in the, in the military. Somebody who's not in the military. Like... Um, is Cog the Baroness? We lose our Baroness? Our Baron? We'll make... Tyrist. Be our manager. He doesn't have any skill in it, but he'll, he'll learn. Medical Dwarf is going to be Quijibo. So Tyrus needs a needs an office. Okay. Um, what did it take you out? I think you were one of the one of the issue, one of the things during the um the first necromancer crisis. Figure out what he wants. Better not be bones. There's a giant cow out there. What do you want? You got pictures of CD rocks, cut gems. I mean, I don't have any cut gems. Wood, cloth. You've got that. Leather. You've got that. Yeah, you don't. You've got and bone. Are we really out of bones? I guess I threw them all away. There's no way we're out of bones. There's no way. I just saw a bunch of bones here. Must have thrown them away. I did tell them in my orders here to dump all bones. So save bones now. Um, actually, I can go get some. There's a bit of a list of things here, but there's some bones. Um, I think mang are mangled okay. I think mangled are fine. I don't remember what what is fine if it's not. There's some. There's plenty of draw the bones. We grab some of those. In fact, he'll probably go get it right now. Yeah, they've been allowed, so he'll go get them now. It seems like he makes it just... Did you just raise... <laughs> he just went down there and raised a whole bunch of dead. <laughs> and then he died. <laughs> Well, that fixes that problem. Okay, okay. I learned my lesson. Don't don't put the undead or the necromancers in the trash. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of them now. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, I guess we won't have that problem anymore. We just <laughs> just have a new problem now. Um, they're going to go burn place down. Let's go get everyone else to like stand. Here. Uh, don't kill. I just want you to. Nope, 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 nope. Stop that. Stop that. Uh, I guess we just tell him to kill. Yeah. Go get, go get all that stuff. This might be a little rough. These giant camels. <laughs> Look at them all. <laughs> nice, nice shade of purple. I like uh, old what's her face's style. You get 12 frames per second as they crawl out of the hole. <laughs> you got giant camels. Uh, there's a giant cow out there somewhere, also. Where's the giant cow at? There's a helmet snake head. Um, there's just some bull hair. Uh, there's a lot of things. I don't know where the giant cow is, but there's a giant cow somewhere. Maybe he's dead. We might have got him. <laughs> Who did we lose? We lost Sarvesh. Yeah, pretty much. We created our own siege. Okay, we're working at five frames per second here, so get comfortable. This might take a little while.
Rokitsky is dead. Tulin is dead. Uh, I don't know if we can survive this, because what's going to happen is we're going to start raising more dead. Almost like having necromancers in your fortress is a bad idea, but I don't know about that. I don't know if I go that far. And then <laughs> they're just still coming out of that thing. It's giant dingoes. Giant camels. Where do these horses come from? Are these dead horses? No, they're, oh, they're horse hares. We got bad, bad chickens. These are things like I, that I slaughtered a long time ago. Music, the music is playing faster than, than the game. Lurk away, Dark Elf. We're gonna have to, like, I want to. I'd like to stay in this world and um, and try to <laughs> try to rebuild this, but um, it's begun a bit of a problem because whenever you build a new, when if, if I were to like retire this fortress and go build another another place then a lot of migrants are going to come from this place into my new fortress. Which means I'm going to be bringing in necromancers coming into my fortress. And that's uh, a bit problematic. <laughs> hey, Sin So Selfish, thanks for the sub. It's going so slow. Look, there's a fight going on over here, too. No, it's those dang birds. It's a giant crow. Oh, it's a crow. I think I saw crow, and I thought it said cow. Oh, went up one tick. 46. It's going higher. Two ticks. We're going to get 50, 50 before that pole's even over. We only got one happy dwarf now. Nothing I really do here, other than just sort of uh, sit back and let it let it do its thing. What a pyramid! I like this pyramid. I gotta figure out what I, what my original plan was today was to work on underground and try to like expand the underground. Maybe maybe burrow the outside so we have an even bigger pyramid. You know, like it goes down in the big pyramid. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get there. As soon as some of these things start dying, which like they're dying reasonably quick, uh, then we'll have um, get our frame rate back. Oh, this never got complete. There we go. So all the blinky reds, I think, are all uh, alive. I think that mangled head is still alive. I'm not actually sure. Looks like there's only a bit of things fighting over there. I don't think there's anything over here fighting. We got out there. So we got Rat Jam still out there. Uh, we've captured a few things. Um, oh, no, no, we got most everything taken care of. Okay. I don't know what's killing my frame right now. Oh, is, is it coming back? Cole the Mole. Thanks for the sub. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're having a, having a pyramid overrun with undead is rather thematic, isn't it? It is, yeah, appropriate. Entomb all the necromancers. Yeah, I think what we'll have to do is is figure out a way of like caging them or something. That'll be the next challenge for the next fortress. How do you how do you keep them under control? Iceman. Oh, Iceman was good. Iceman was an elite Marks dwarf. Iceman's been around a long time. I think they were I think they were my my le my head guy. I think. Yeah, my my leader of these guys. He 
Maybe you can, uh, another, another commander. Mm, not that one. Um, he's traveling. How do I, until commander is selected? I think I have to wait till my commander comes back before I can do this. Is that, is that, thing? Is that right? Fifty for a second. Remember, we've got. Oh, there it is. There's fifty. <laughs> oh, they died. Tierist. Tierist. I just named Tierist my manager. It's like Tierist is a problem because that frame rate's back up. Okay. Um. I'm gonna deal with this. We gotta get we gotta get the stuff in in the ground, but I gotta get this built, and I I don't know what I guess like what I could do is I could pick the stuff up and put it into a different hole with a bridge attached. Doesn't even really need to be in a hole, but just throw it on the ground so the bridge can smash it. Um, Try this again. I'm assuming it's because it needs to raise up that way, and it needs to be like that. Let's see if they build it. I don't. I think that I think it's because there's stuff there they can't build it. If I were to move it, then maybe that would fix it. Move all this up. There's a lot of stuff to move. We could try building it the other way. What if we do... Let's see if this works. Bitch, two. Ernst has been missing for a week. Um, so Ernst is now a... Was he always a frozen hunter? Ooh, it's a mess out there. We got in here. We got some camels in there again, and we got uh, a Draltha trapped in there. Where Lizard One has returned. Where Lizard One was was here a long time ago. This is no good. Are they finally building that? This is this is no good. <laughs> this is no good at all. Uh, <laughs> okay, where's the where lizard at? There he is. Okay. Um, all right, everyone, get back to your jobs. Oh, they came back. Did you guys do your job? Let's let's get ha some happy news. Did you explore web pulleys at some point? Oh, that's when you picked, that's when you picked up the book. Right. Okay. And then we, we burned the place down, right? We went over here and we tried to burn this this elf. Uh, well, it was once elf. Now it's Goblin Run. Hey, Grizz. Thanks for the sub again. And thanks, uh, Cole, for the gift sub. So we struck down a lot of... Uh, a lot of looks like there's a bunch of elves in there. Elf struck down. Elf struck down. Elf struck down. Uh, it says a goblin place, but it's run by elves. Thanks, Cole. And hey, Adverbia, how's it going? With a lot of elves there. The elf, his mouth was smashed. I don't think we're actually doing any raising of things. There is a Quinier who is who is a hero. Who's ripping hands off of people, apparently. I'm waiting to see if we have any undead things happening. I don't think there's any... None of that's going on. I 
However, if I were to go and, and play in this world and play a different sieve um, next to these necromancers, I could get attacked by my people. What we got? We got... We looted some things. Oh, good. We got the, we got the goodies. Elf was struck down by Sazir Rumored Basement, the mint dipple of dye in Blaze Shoved. And it's gone. Blaze Shoved is not gone. Never mind. We attacked, we killed a lot of things, we took all their stuff, but it's still there. <clears throat> Alright, um... Thanks, Cole. Yeah, I'm kind of bummed out that that glass tower is is no more. Alright, so this guy, this guy was in our fortress, what, a couple years ago. I told him to get out of here. He, he got out, now he came back. Um, he's gonna have a bad time when he sees what's about to hit him. But, um... There's no way we can get inside before he's going to hit us. What do we do? Um, I don't know. <laughs> we could try to run inside, but it's not going to happen. Um, I guess everyone try to get inside. Um, I need uh, you guys to go. My, my, my archers get to the south towers. And I'm going to... My, my melee guys... I want you to go here. Everyone get inside. Quickly, quickly. Looks like he's playing over there with, uh, with Ezem. P. Shally is dead. He got chewed up by that were lizard. Everyone get inside, get inside. Okay, pull that lever. Oh, they got him. Rakus has been appointed to the position of diplomat of the reclusive wakes. Oh, yeah. Okay, they got him. So we've got uh, the two that are here. Is there, any, is there another one? I thought I saw two over here. Is it just you? Where are you? Was it you also? Yeah, ease him. So ease him. Did you get bit? Doesn't say you got. You know, you got no damage. You did get bit. Your legs cut open. Your legs bruised. Okay. So uh, Thob got hit. But it looks like Ezem didn't. And on a higher note, higher note, uh, Rakust. Rakust. Is now our, um, what's Raku? What, what, what are they? Appointed to the vision of Diplomat. Of the Reclusive Wakes. Did that change anything for us? Not really. Okay, so we got to look at that fight because the two that we're f that I'm worried about are uh, Ezem and Thob, because I think that we're about to have an issue with Thob. So there's Thob fighting. So go to the fight where he was. Oh, that that was the diplomat. Of the quakes, that guy was the diplomat, and he came in to say to say hello, and he went and started going nuts. Bash the diplomat. Diplomat attacks the wrestler. Attacks the wrestler, and he jumps away. Diplomat bites the wrestler in the upper leg, so he has to go. So Thob has to go. Um, and who was the other one? The other one's Ezem. He's in the Spearmaster. Where does our fight begin? Oh, this is this is all of it. Okay. Not quite. Um Spearmaster. Yeah, stab, stab. So Spearmaster just stab and stabbing because he's chewing on the other guy. So all the orange ones. So diplomat misses, misses. Blocks, misses. I think. Yeah, and, he's, and he bleeds to death. Okay, so uh, Ezem is fine, but Thob is about to um, take a little trip. 
book went flying there. Uh, uh, I want uh, in the burrow. Everyone else can do what you want to do, but burrow uh, where garbage is going to be assigned old fob. How am I supposed to find this guy? I can't. I can't. I'm going to go through every single one of these. Next, next fortress, I'm going to limit it. 12 dwarves. That's all. That's max. That's all I'm going to have in the whole fortress. <laughs> be interesting. Actually, it would be interesting, like, challenge. Can you make a fortress with that few of people? Thob the wrestler, right? It was that one. You can see him. He looks like... Where is he? I guess I passed some time. Uh, Thob Ernum. Is that his name? Bob Ernum. Okay. Where is he? Uh, my, I'm going to go cross eyed looking at all these names. Thob Ernum. It's got an easier way of doing this. Thaburnum, you go there. Interesting, uh, interesting to see how that how that would play out. Like, um, it'd be tough to to do. Like, uh, like what do you do whenever you hit? Did Thob go inside? Like when you get like a raid of like a ton of people. But if you had twenty military dwarves, like in the last in the green glass tower that I had, I had my one squad that was really good. And that those ten dwarves could fight anything. Especially if you get steel or whatever. It might I don't know if it'd be I don't know. It might be interesting to try. He's resting, where is he? Oh, he's in the tower. Dang it, Thob. Yeah, the dozen, the, the the dirty dozen. Okay, so that that staircase has been built there, and maybe that'll change some things. Oops. There's a dwarf hanging out over there. Keep an eye on Thob here. When he comes, when he comes over here, we'll we'll raise the gate and he'll come stand on the other side. Then we'll smash him, or we'll put him over here and you try our new spot out. Folks are missing. Sazir is is stumbling around. He's probably gonna go punch somebody again. Pumpkin Vision is missing. Do you know, it's got yeah, it's got to be the stuff there. So, hmm. Who was the one ecstatic guy? Someone who's probably very drunk. There they are. Dunderhill, militia captain. Dunderhill. Little sloppy. He hates independence. He's got himself a, a billy goat. He's a little hurt as well. What's wrong with you, buddy? Your left hand has been mangled. You need some diagnosis. Oh, you know what I need to do? Probably I need to check my, my doctors. I always forget this is something I gotta keep an eye on. I got everything else in here. We now have we should have soap uh, and cast. We don't have any soap. We gotta make make some of that. Uh, yeah, I got no doctor now, so all in will do that. And diagnostician. I should probably make maybe two of these guys. And we need a surgeon, Kogan. There we go. So now we got now we got doctors in there. Was that Oost? Hey, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. 
man, this guy's going to go and he's going to lose his mind. I think we're going to have, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to kick him out and then kill him. It's going to make people kind of mad about this, but uh, as you can see, I don't mind people being mad. What was his name? Thob. All right, Thob. Thob's mad anyway. Thob, you're kicked out of the fortress. Take your ram with you. Okay, so Thob's out. Now we have to go kill Thob. There he is. He's right there. So I want everybody to get over here. Go get Thob. I'm going to do it this way so I know which, which one we're getting. Well, I guess we're going to hope. Yeah, kill Thob. All right, Thob. Sorry, buddy. But um, you are a problem. Well, you're going to be a problem. Thob has been found dead. All right, get his, get his body parts out of there before someone freaks out and starts throwing them all over the place. Uh, I need to get some soap, main. Okay, so that's done. No more Thob problem. Uh, let me go. <laughs> it's just carnage out here. <laughs> okay. Uh, you dig down there eventually. Um, let's get some soap. So I've got a soap man here. Why aren't you making soap, buddy? Manager is required. Oh, I don't have a manager. I'm not a manager. Managers. That's like the the quickest job in this place. No one survives enough to be a manager. Easem can do it. Okay. All right. Someone go tell someone to make some soap. We need a lot. We got plenty of tallow. Why are we killing Thob? Uh, Thob's going to have a bad day here in a month. And we don't really want to deal with that. <laughs> he was stinky. <laughs> Eton's been found yet. What, what happened to Eton? What's happening is people are getting mad, and they're fighting, fist fighting, and with the fist fighting, then punches are being thrown, and heads are being punched off. It's a real problem. Can we do this out, please? My doctor's dead. And as you can see, like there's... There's no sense in what's going on there. <laughs> I just hired that doctor. I'm not a medical dwarf either. Oh boy, that's, I think that's who he was. Chief medical dwarf. Alright, Ral. I don't know, I'll have you there as the... As the uh, since you're in the military, but... Yeah, we got one soap in there now. Diagnostician's probably the most important one, so we know what to do about the guy when they get hit. All right, we'll send Wendy in. Pause while I do this. The last thing this fortress needs is some ghosts hanging around. I can get someone to do some jobs over here. I right, just go ahead and I gotta get everything thrown in there, like um yeah. Get it all out of here. Crocodile parts. Um, it's very smelly in here. It's just like oh, I gotta do something with these these brocks. This fortress is a dump. Okay, 
Okay, yeah, whatever. Get rid of those things. Um, uh, not that. I should, like, throw my rocks somewhere. What's this guy doing? Just out on a poetic journey? So, I'm just gonna get thrown down there. What if I should, like, I don't know how to fix that. We could put... Not really any way of fixing that. We could dig. We could just dig straight down and then just dig until we find magma. And then we just, when we throw it in, it just goes into the magma. It'd be perfect if it was magma, like directly below us. It'd be perfect. What are the chances? Because we don't actually go through anything here. Right to the magma sea. <clears throat> okay, awesome. <laughs> it's, it's scary. Hey, Magical Hack, how's it going? Thanks for the raid. You terrified me. I'm a little jumpy. Okay. Get this barn owl out of here. Okay. Now... How are these looking? Uh, can I appoint? I think I can appoint a manager. Now that he's back, I think I can, I can appoint someone here. Yeah. The, for the uh, the groves of, of bolting. So, um, uh, Rackist is a pretty good tactician. Rackist is already in the other one, isn't he? Rackist. Yeah, he's already there. However, he could be, yeah, you know what? Nah, Rackist. Sure, he gets a little cranky sometimes, but that's fine. He can go in there. Okay, so he's going to lead the, the bolting folks right there. Get yourself a, um, a bow, please. And then for the other guy, for the archers, we'll put in a uh, locum. <clears throat> oh, yeah, necromancer should be physically buff because of all the deadlifting. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is an evil nook playthrough. Yeah, you know what? Um, I mean, they they started it. Really, I'm just I'm just trying to keep up. <laughs> Crutches are done. Splints are done. So we've we've destroyed that fort. We got another one over there we can destroy if we wanted to. They'll probably come hit us pretty soon, I think. I would imagine. We get attacked pretty soon. And it's gonna be real bad. Because when we get attacked, people are gonna die and the things are gonna get raised. It's gonna be real ugly. There's a, this fort is over here with five thousand goblins in it. I don't know how you would even start to take that thing out. Did you hear what happened to the man who uh who didn't pay his exorcist? He got repossessed. Appropriate joke for our situation. I'm going to figure out what's put in this, in this spot here. We've got what, one more spot that is not being used. And I suppose we could come back and try to work on something with this. You know? I think we could do something. If this is my edge, maybe do more one more row of roads. We did two there. Let's see. an idea. I 
I probably shouldn't put it on closest material because they're going to grab like iron or something. Um, I guess it's okay. Limestone seems to be the closest thing. I don't want to take them. Well, I'll, make, I'll just make sure. I wish there was an option here of like select the closest material, but I could select like the closest rock. Um, like I don't want to use iron, you know, or steel for this. There needs to be some some sort of a, a break there. There's no reason for this. It's just all for the looks. Three there, so I... okay. Why was the cheetah not good at hide and seek? Because it was spotted. <laughs> it is kind of a cool effect, isn't it? I like it too. I like I like the zoom up and the zoom back down. <laughs> I think it's cool too. I wish I wish there was I had I need to do something underneath here. See, it's so peaceful now. We can have, we have time to build. What a what a peaceful fortress. You know, nothing terrible happening here. Boost, boost. Thanks, Robo. I have a, there's a downside to telling all these dad jokes um, for these streams. And now when anyone tells me a joke outside of this, like, I've heard it before. <laughs> I know, I, I know it. <laughs> so. Let's do a, a block there and a block there. Yeah, I got a rock I have to get rid of, so we'll fix that in a second. I do it with uh, with a wall. Don't mind. People are dying. Don't worry about that. It's no, just another day here in uh, in craft justice. P. Shally died again. Uh, by the way, so I I haven't quite figured out the frozen hunter thing and what that means. Like, for instance, P. Shally died. There's his corpse, but he came back as a frozen hunter. I don't know what that means. Oh no. He shall he transform into a... No, what'd you do that for? Oh, no. Did he bite people in here? I didn't... I didn't... I didn't see that. I'm never gonna find him in here. Anyone see P. Shally, the were beast? Were lizard, there he is. A lot of, a lot of, oh, because he was a necromancer at one point. But then he, then he died. Shakes the dwarf engraver. Is this happening right now? And the surgeon. Uh, well, that's not good. Okay. We're locking the door. Get out of the doorway. We gotta lock it. That's not good. I can't really look at who is uh, is infected because everyone or injured because everyone in there is injured. 
And everyone there is just gonna like hang out in the doorway. Can we clean that infection up real good? A little bit of extra soap. What the evil chicken lay? Deviled eggs. Ah, that's a good one. And this is another one of these guys. Just our buddies. Don't seem to mind them too much. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with the, with the digging here. My miners are just all a little busy. Also, uh, there's a problem with an everyone is mad. People kind of refuse to work. And um, everyone here is real mad. What's a vampire's favorite ship? A blood vessel. Ah, that's a good one. Now we're gonna have a necromancer and wear fort all in one. Oh, we got one. Why not have more? I've never, you know, I've, of all the hours I've put in the Steam version of North Fortress, I've yet to see a vampire. So maybe we'll get one of them too. Since necromancers are undead, do undead creatures ignore them? No, we we discovered that today. More fighting going on because people are raising the dead. Giant rotten crow corpse stands up. I love this game. <laughs> Look at that crow corpse. There you go. Good job. Good job. Can you throw the trash away, please? We, we got a real problem. Let's get it in there. If you clean up the trash, I think you guys would be a lot happier. There's any engravings we can do. Maybe we can engrave this. Can I engrave the bridge? No. Can I engrave the road? I think I tried that last time. Let me get these engravings done. That might help a little bit. Back to my road. You know, I'm just going to forget about what's happening here. Let's go back to my happy place and just milk, make some roads. Let's just go back to my happy place here and uh, let's, just, let's just build. Okay. Let's just forget about what's going on and just let's just build. You know, when life gives you ne when life gives you necromancers, you just build pretty designs with your roads. And everything will be all right. Some, uh, some more limestone blocks. Oh, oh. Okay, those three sides are done. We got this is the uh, this side. I wonder if we can do something crafty here. Three, four, five. Not quite. It's not quite. We could kind of do something crafty. Well, I like you. I, you're trying to get out of the doorway. Interrupted by corpses. Like this guy. So, like this fella.
You're a dwarf frozen hunter. You're very scarred, very messed up. You, uh, you're beyond recognition. You're basically still a dwarf, but you're like a dead dwarf, though. You're not. You're not enough of a. I can't. I can't. Oh, I can put you in here. It's a goblin armor. I'm gonna try saying like, don't use this. And use this to get in here. Maybe this will help. Get him off that path. Yeah, Robo, you want to be in here? Sure. I will let you be um, this woodcutter right here. You won't be a necromancer just yet. So I'll get you one in pretty soon. It's underscore. There you go. 25 years old. You are seriously injured. You may not live very long. You need some diagnosis. Um, your lower spine's a bit mangled beyond recognition. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. That happens all the time. That's, that's, that's you, I think, right in... I think I just saw you blink up. There you are. Uh, we have a diagnostician. Let me get a, another one. That might help speed things along. We got Wendy in there, but let's get someone like, um... Uh, someone's not doing any work. Like, Cyborg. Can I do some diagnosing for us, please? And then everyone else, I'll go ahead and get a surgeon. I'll get two of everybody in here. Someone who's not working. Ruby's just doing some cooking. We'll put them in there. Uh, we'll get another doctor. Could be you, I guess. We've got two surgeons, two diagnosticians, two doctors. We'll get an extra bone doctor. And we'll be someone who doesn't do much. Like Mestos. Yeah, cut down trees from the ground without legs. Yeah, yeah, you just crawl out there and start swinging. It'll be alright. Yeah, we'll get you a crutch. Which I just made 10 of them. Uh, if I need more, it'll tell me. So, uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and do more. We'll probably do need more because we've had some... <laughs> it's forgotten beast Ruzmo has come. An enormous one-eyed tick. It has a spiral shell and it appears to be emaciated. Its sandy taupe exoskeleton is rough and cracked. Beware its webs. Man, I don't want to deal with this. Alright, wh where is this fella at? Oh, he's, of course he's downstairs. Yeah, he's a big beast. Um, I think the solution here is to just lock the door. Uh, what are you guys doing out there? Where are you going? I keep an eye on this guy. Where is he? Uh, other. Ruzmo. Okay. So he's over there throwing some, some webs around. Can he get to us real easily? Yeah, he goes up this way. Wait, Rizmo's corpse. What happened to him? Did he just die? What, <laughs> what happened? There's so, there's so many dead things. I'm never going to find him. I'm supposed to find this guy. I guess we go alphabetical. Um, Ruzmo. Yeah, he's dead. How did you die? So many things always fighting. I don't know how to find you. I 
forgotten beast is fighting. What were you fighting? Fight a uh, serpent sp man, spear man. Is there a serpent man? Is that what's down there? There's a serpent man, spear man, mangled corpse. So you killed somebody and then he died. And then he died. Who? Serpent man, spear man, mangled corpse. Spatter with human blood. Who? Serpent man, spear man. I don't understand. I know, I don't <laughs> I did not have to find my way through here at all. Uh, Forgotten Beast is fighting the Serpent Man Spearman. Looks like there's a few. So he, he like pops in here and starts fighting the Serpent Man Spearman. Okay. Forgotten Beast misses, misses, misses. Serpent Man stabs, stabs. Forgotten Beast falls over. That's where we saw him fall in the hole there. He shoots out some webs. He kicks the Serpent Man. And his hand, his hand falls off. Bronze spear gets lodged in there. He comes in, now he gets mad. And then he goes nutso again. More stab, stab. The beast is missing. Serpent man stabs. Okay. Serpent man woman is also down there. Are there more of serpent men people? So did they all, did they all die? Did everybody just kill everybody? I think, I think that's, I that's, that's what happened. Superman, Spearman. I didn't even see that guy. And But there's more, right? Maybe we just don't see him yet, so there's just one there. The cat's gonna go check it out. Cavern dwellers send them back to the darkness. <gasps> Here they come. Here they come. Okay, there they are. Okay, I've never seen these guys before. Uh, all right. A door's locked. Let's get uh, just get everyone down here. I want everyone to go s uh, station here. I'm a little concerned about these guys because apparently they can slaughter anyone they want. Let's lock that door. There's a bunch of them. Looks like Lo Loggy is over there swinging. He just lost his, ha his axe, though. Uh, why, is the, why is the tick back? Because Austin just raised it from the dead. Where's Austin? Austin set. So he goes over there. He's way down here. I don't know how he got over there, but apparently he got over there. And he starts gesturing. He starts gesturing some more. A spinning icicle strikes the dwarf herbalist in the right upper leg. He falls over. Venom is injected in him. So now you have raised... The Forgotten Beast. <laughs> to be on my... Well, on somebody's side. There's Ruzmo's corpse now running amok. <laughs> oh, he's dead again. Okay. Uh, Austin's dead now. I can't say I'm really broken up about that. I'm going to open this door. Okay, so the army is here. Here they come. I'm just going to hang out there for a minute. If we could get somebody to, like, carve a, um, a nice arrow slit in here, that'd be real nice. There's a, there's a, a, a troll there. You dang cat! Okay, we got the troll. He's now a troll frozen hunter. Where are you going? I gotta lock this door. Everyone get to your burrow. I said get to your burrow. 
We're just like feeding them one at a time. There's, an, there's a raised one also. How do we lure them over here? I think we are. Gremlin? On top of all this? He's coming back. Let's do this. Let's station everybody like right over here. They want to fight? They'll have it. Shoot them bows. There you go. Go get them. Go get them. Like we're dropping down. Oh, we're dropping over here. Um, I need you guys to kill... Um, I want those, but I also want other things. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, they'll go in, they're gonna get in there now. There's Thudu. There's some undead things that have been raised by some of our necromancers, in addition to the, to the snake folk. Couple undead we gotta take care of. Looks like we got one snake left. Undead troll, someone just decided to raise there. Oh, there's another snake over here. It's hard to see, hard to see down here. Also, we're at four frames per second right now. <clears throat> Why is the whole float fort angry? <laughs> I don't know, where, where do I begin? <laughs> I don't. I, I, um. What, how's this? What's the short way of explaining this? Um. I named this series the Dead Empire, and then we really became a dead empire. Does that sum it up? We got a few necromancers in the fort. Yeah, they're, they're still super happy. This is right there. We got a fight. I think as soon as we get that guy taken care of. Is that all we got left? One lizard there. Battle in the caves. Oh, there's one down there too. And we have this troll coming this way. Undead troll. Grukta, Thudu, Gilu, Solon, they're all fighting this thing. No one's dying, though. <laughs> A lot of fighting. It's funny that that thing, that, that Forgotten Beast came same time those guys did. So when I made this world, I made it with, um, I cranked beasts, beasts are on high, and um, savagery or whatever. I think it's savagery, right? The other thing is on high. So, um, and sights are on high. So the goblins went kind of nuts and just attacked everything. Um, there's a lot of big beasts out there in the world. I'm not sure what age we're, uh, we're actually in. I don't, if there's a way, is there a way of going back to that now? Now that we're um, already here, I don't think there's a way of seeing like the age, um, and all the news from the from the age stuff. Oh, we know of an unnamed serpent man civilization. Do we know where they're from? That's cool. I've never seen a serpent man civilization. Where are they where are they at? There's no way of seeing where their place is though. Is it? We could, if we have civilizations, it, it separates them like this.
with all the stuff that we stole through here. We stole a lot of stuff. Exploration of Traffic Traffic is going to be in the oily home. I don't know how to see where they're at, but I wish I, I wish I could. We're at peace with them, so they're going to show up as gray. But I don't know. There's a cobalt castle up there. There's a tomb up there. What's the name of their civilization? They're just unknown, right? Unknown Serpent Man's civilization. At this point, what do you, um, how do you keep track of what's going on? It's so chaotic. Do you just know what's going on after playing a crap ton? Well, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, I mean, you can't really keep, it's like, especially once it hits a, hits a point, there's not much you can do. You just kind of like, um, you're, uh, you're kind of, you're kind of the teacher of a daycare. It's not much you can do. You just kind of sit back and just hope the little ones don't kill each other. Um, and that's about it. Embrace the chaos. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the best, uh, the best advice. So I think we got, I got, looks like one more left down here. This guy, I'm not sure why he doesn't show up on my, like, here. There he is. He showed up there for a second. A whole bunch of fighters over here. I think we got them. Did we get them? Pause here. They don't seem very peaceful. There's still three of them. This this guy is friendly because he's a frozen fella. This guy is not so friendly. So let's let's kill him. He's he's heavily bleeding. So take him out. Then we'll go get the other one. Is chat also part of the daycare. <laughs> hey, awesome world. How's it going? Okay, that one died pretty quick. There's one more right there. No, that's the frozen hunter. We want to worry about the hostile ones. This guy. Oh, uh, he's way over there. Where's the other one at? This one. Oh, he is hostile now. That guy. That's the one we just. I thought that's one we just. Oh, did we just like raise him? Did we kill him and then raise him or something? I haven't quite figured out how this uh, this necromancy stuff works yet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we do some clearing out. Caves. Tell you what, these caves are a mess. He's quick, he's running away. Where's he going? Did he die? No, he died. Okay. So we got one left, right? One left. His name is Duzlamar. He's got a name, he means he's killed before. Smear wealths, they call him. Well, I call him dead. Go get him. I'm going to climb on over here. Look at this guy. There's another one? I think he come back. See, why is there... I'm confused. There's one listed here, but there's one over there. Who's that? I don't know what's going on. Anyway, we got some fighting going on over here, so we got to, we're gonna get this guy out of the trees over here. So Zir's throwing a tantrum. Speaking of throwing a tantrum, he's probably gonna start punching some people and killing people. But there we go, Snake Man menace taken care of. Okay, uh, what's next on the agenda? Roads. We should just worry about roads. Let's just build some roads. I'm going to resume these so we get them built.
can't imagine what you'd think if you uh, just coming in to watch this fort and see what's going on when you see things like that. Sitting outside my fortress. And, uh, and, and this fella <laughs> who's missing an eye. He's got his intestines sort of rolling around. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, and um, there's that guy over there. And, uh, well, this is supposed to be cleaned up. So that's not too bad anymore. Not too bad anymore, anyway. <clears throat> uh, that's, that's my buddy. Uh, he, it's a hand of Egu, frozen hunter. Um, he is a, a large feathered humanoid. He has wings. Charcoal feathers are downy. His night creature was first created by the human necromancer Egu uh, after horrible experiments on on the elf Ema in Spring Depth in the year of eighty. So he's some uh, feathery elf, basically. And we he attacked us. We killed him. And then we decided to raise him again. Because that's just kind of what we do around here. Well, it's going to look good when those come in. I should get the... And I'll get the jet floors going down. It'll look great. If I get a frame rate of more than 12, or that is, or 10. There's still fighting going on down there. Down in the caves. Yeah, that's a problem. Caves. Kind of a mess. We'll save your frame rate. Stay away, stay away from caves. My next fort should be like a no no dig fort. Or I'm you know, I'm kind of intrigued by trying some sort of tiny forts. Um like we um, you can change the settings of where you become like where you get sieges and things and crank that up. Because otherwise you'll never get attacked. There's a Gorlack running around. Um, and then have, um, yeah, like limit limit myself to like 50 dwarves or something. We really scream through the years as well. Because right now we're kind of at a standstill. We're, we've made it like uh, a season since I've been playing today. <clears throat> I don't know why it says we're not a barony. It just says city. We are a barony. I thought it said baron. Barony there before. Oh yeah, I was supposed to make crossbows. I forgot about that. There you go, buddy. I'll make you a couple crossbows. I don't want you getting mad. That's the last thing I need. We'll go run around the fortress being real mad, throwing their clothes on the ground. Um, this needs to be, like, floored or something. Let's hope we can clean up most of this stuff, though. All the bones outside have been cleaned up. Well, some, most of them, anyway. So that'll help keep that organized. Uh, people are missing for a week. Yeah, you know, I know. They're they're missing because they are dying and then being resurrected. Yeah, yeah. Notice people are getting happier. That or the uh, the angry ones are dying. Hey, Webster, how's it going? Thanks for the follow. Ever dig that out? Why aren't we digging that? On everybody, I can't. 
I have so many necro look at all the necromancers we have now. Everyone's a necromancer now. You're either a necromancer or you're dead. <laughs> okay. Where did the horse go? We'll do some uh, mats. And um, I guess I can give these guys jobs. Free those up. Necromancer or necromancy. That's right. Okay, until we clear out these these caverns, we're gonna have some frame rate issues. Um I think a lot of it has to do with what's going on over here. This is where the, the priority thing would be a good idea. Because then we can have actually a, a walkway going through here. Let's try it. It goes down this way. And we'll just we'll just do that. At least they have a path there, and then they can go into the madness. We just just come and mine this all out. And clear up some, some problems. There you go. So he goes that way, down, and then back up again, and then over this way. That's actually okay. We can figure that out. That. Okay. Maybe that'll help. Don't buy oh, 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 I forgot. I, uh, Burrow is on. Okay. Oh, you know what? That actually fixed a lot of our frame. It was the Burrow issue. Okay. What are we, what's going on over here? What, are those rocks being, are you throwing rocks? You're throwing rocks. What are you throwing rocks at? These leopard women and they're throwing rocks. This leopard man just wants to come visit the town, and you're attacking him. He's a little agitated, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And that one, then resume that. Let's get this stuff done. You know, an hour into this. I um I didn't think there was gonna be a, a second hour in this, but here we are. A necromancer is visiting us now, huh? Have a listen. Yeah, where'd you come from, Gokta? Human hammer? No, you're a hammer man. I thought it said um. A necromancer. I guess not. I see, there may not be any more necromancers in the world. I'm the only necromancer uh, in the world here. All right, let's go. Do, let's go some uh, raid some things. So we got humans over here that, can, uh, that we could we could go take out. Mop Mop Shore, I think needs needs a killing. Uh, let's go get Mop Shore. I'm gonna send in. I think I'm gonna send the silk bolts in. Once we get them squared away, we'll put in Darren Armstrong. Good name for a dwarf. Okay, we're going to send them off here to mop. Uh, should I send the, the bolts? Or I guess I should send the daggers in because these are the those are like the, the prime fighters. And they're fully, yeah, they're the ones that should be going out there. So you can go raid mop, sure. Uh, go burn it down. We don't, we don't, you know, 
None of this raid nonsense. There we go. Yeah. Daggers of defense. We don't do defense. Vampires are afraid of the four. I think you're right. More rocks are getting thrown. <laughs> they keep coming in. These uh, leopard people. <laughs> they're just throwing rocks at them. I haven't seen that before. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Look at this. So many rocks getting thrown around. Oh, I just canceled their orders. Oops. How does that work? Are they still doing it? Yeah, I did. I, I ruined that. Um, whoops. Okay, the bolts are going. I accidentally canceled the order. I didn't realize that would work like that. There they go. Off to fight. To battle. I was also thinking this time I was going to come in and put in some, some ballistas down here to fire at things that come in and attack us. We clearly don't need that, though. we got our own army. We, we make more of our army as time goes on. The only problem is we have to fight our army as well. I'm below 50. There's a lot less people in town. So hopefully these two guys will make their way out in a minute. Possible they're inside here broken. Yeah, like him. Mangled, you have been brought to bed. Prisoner. Diagnosis required. Hurry up and do your job. Chinchilla woman is visiting us. These guys are still here? Yeah, these leopard people. You can stop throwing rocks at him? Nope, nope. Rocks are flying again. <laughs> I don't know what the deal with the rock says. There's the chinchilla woman. Oh, look at her. Look at her. Tiny little face. Pull the bridge. My leader die. Oh, it was Locum. Locum's right there, though. Oh, he has any skills? I need someone that's good at this at this job. I guess Graymeister can do it. They know how to wrestle. A happy person. Um, probably the same as before. Uh, who, who do we have? There they are. Oh uh, yeah, Dunder Hill. Who's same same person who's been stuck in the in the med bay forever. He's got his got his, got his buddy the buddy the Billy Goat. Uh, he's got a little bit of um, of dwarven beer on his, in his pocket. And he's a little broken, but he doesn't ever get healed for some reason. Oh, we lost more Phoenix. 
Uh, Cog has just ended a mandate. Is Cog the, the Baroness now? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. Oh, the only place to put beer in your pocket. Yeah, the person, the person that's happy is in a coma. <laughs> that's right. That's what's going on. So yeah, he's not going to be able to go. We're going to have to change Dunder out with someone else. It's in Mirez, the champion. Looks like Ral is probably hurt too. You know how to bind a book. You know how to swing a sword. Uh, Ral's a good, good actor, but you're, you're hurt. Uh, it's probably not. No one's getting worked on because he's broken. He's a Grand Master Axe Dwarf. Man, he'd be a good one to go in that fight. Let's send A-Bomb. They should go get some gear and then and then get out of here. Hey, Stage Dives. Sazir's throwing a tantrum again. He's going to go break some things, uh, like Doom Jr. here. Dang rocks. Uh, like I just said, Doom Jr. and Greymeister. I just signed him. You please stop killing them with my people. Clip clop. Stop it. You're knocking bookcases over now? Sazir. You're gonna have to go, buddy. Look, I know you're you're a good fighter and all that, but I don't know if we can handle this anymore. Where are you? He always gets mad. He's killing people. Knocking books over. Knock two books over. Is there a space there? Yeah. Put the bookcases back. Oh, Dunder Hill's dead. Did you just walk in the, in the head and kill the guy? He was so happy. <laughs> the one guy in the fortress that's happy is dead. We need to get um, Queen. What's her face? She needs to be in charge of this place. If I if I kick her out, can I um, put her in here? I think I couldn't. I think I tried that before and I couldn't do it because she's not dwarf. Yeah. Okay. She's legendary. That's right. She's got a um, statue in her in her honor. Right? Um, where is her statue at? Well, we put it somewhere. A statue somewhere around here. I think we made one of her. I know we did. Um. just a statue of dwarves. I'm pretty sure we made one of her, but I'm not sure. We have we have two statues of this same goat and one statue of Zan. I'm not sure where she went somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where. Oh, there's that little chinchilla guy. <clears throat> just wanted to pop by and thank you for the Dwarf Fortress beginner tips. Helped me a ton. Well, good. Excellent. I've got a, uh, a plan. I'm going to be going out of town here for a week or so. Uh, a couple weeks. Here in a bit. Here in in uh, a few weeks. And so I'm going to make... That's what I think what I was going to do like for the for the channel, for the YouTube channel. And so I think what I'm going to do is something I did before um, a long time ago. Is um, 
I set up a uh, like a like a tutorial, but I sort of played along with the tutorial. Like not not like a this is how you play the game. Just as this, I'm gonna play the game and kind of explain it as I play the game. And I think I'm gonna do that. So like a like a let's play. It's been a long time since I did a good, good old let's play. So I think something like that <clears throat> for those for those couple weeks. Nice nice thirty minute chunks. A little more explained. A little more um, rather than being. Tutorial. They're more um, play the game along along with me or whatever. Only a lot of folks like that. Uh, last time I did it, so I figured yeah, a good one to do now. more doors. I think that was it. Spring! We made it we made it half a year so far. Posture check. Through all this, I'm surprised we've been able to keep my food and drink stockpile uh, under control. We've got two people that are in the green. And everyone else is really mad. I was reading up on some things I said earlier on, like, saving your frame rate. And, um... One thing I might try next time I do a new world is, um... I always forget that about doing uh, regions rather than just doing like islands, you know, or like, like the standard map, you know, you can do regional maps and um, some of them are, I think those look cooler. They're all, they're more, um, they're more middle earth looking, I guess, rather than being the whole, the whole place, uh, the whole, whole world map with islands and continents and things. It's just like a region and um, I, don't know, I think they look cooler. But I just assigned him what? Oh, because of that. He just went out and got hit by that that owl. I'm never gonna get anyone in this in this place to go out and just just go fight something. Mirez, I don't know where he must be hurt. Locum is an expert. I'll put you in there. He's already left. I'm not sure how that works if he's already left. This owl is just tearing us up. Did we get him? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to fight this right now. Okay, here come some goblins. Luckily, I got the camels on my side. Okay. We made a hundred rock figurines now. All right. Uh, I need everyone. Um, we can do this the old-fashioned way, which is the old uh, close up, you know, close up the burrow. Let's see if it works. Try to close the gates. Uh, I need melee to stand over here. And I need ranged to get into your burrow. Oops. See if it works. Uh, everyone get inside, please. Please. Some snatchers in there. We spotted. They're, they're more worried about the camels at the moment. That's good. Uh, if we get our archers up here in these in these spots, we'll be set. And I really needed to go... I keep meaning to do this, and I keep forgetting. To set up a... I don't know if it's better, actually, to put in an armor... Uh, like a... Um, actually, I don't know if the armor stand even matters. Let's just set this here. I'm going to put in... This won't matter right now, but... I want to put in just... Okay, in a second. Um, just ammo in here. Actually, anything. Any kind of ammo is fine. Same thing over, over here. Ammo stockpile. That way we'll put some bolts over there so they'll have bolts to get to, get to shooting. 
<clears throat> so I was reading the newspaper today, and there was this uh, this story about this guy that um, he killed some fella who couldn't uh, he couldn't hear, he couldn't taste, he couldn't smell, see, or smell. And the headline was "Senseless Murder." I think I may have told that one before. If I have, just pretend like you hadn't heard the other one before. So the cow's going outside. Most of these guys are just undead folks. They like throwing rocks anyway. So I'm just going to pull this lever. Do it now. Please pull the lever. That's all I ask. Somebody pull the lever. You, turkey. You want to pull the lever? Ah, uh, nice. There goes the turkey. Oh, the turkey got pelted with rocks. He's going to go fly in here. And s Wait. Why isn't the bridge going? There we go. <laughs> they almost got hit with it. Okay. Okay. They got him. Bridge closed. Uh, we got archers in the tower. Yeah, archers in the tower. Goblins to the south. Chasing, uh, uh camels. I don't get it, Masterlith. Okay, we got two people in here. But we've got all these dead folks that uh, like throwing rocks. So I can't imagine they have any hope here. Well, there's no one in that tower. Did you ever leave? No, Locum never left. Where is Locum at? He was in the squad. I think we're going to have to just cancel that, cancel that order. Yeah, just remove the mission. Oh, Locum is lost. Locum is... Wait, he went there? Locum is has been captured. Well, we can't have that. Okay, yeah, cancel, cancel your... Oops. Um, you... Go back to your burrow. I'm going to put you just... Yeah, South is probably the best place for you. There's really not a lot of goblins around here. That was a pretty measly attack. A-bomb's dead. It says... Oof, yeah, we have the throwing dead over there. There's more. Look at all those rocks just flying everywhere. <laughs> he's, he's going nuts. <laughs> <laughs> How many rocks have you got? Like Kramer in a pocket of change. Sorry, that's a really old reference to Seinfeld. <laughs> we can deal with Ratman right now if we wanted to. I'm going to turn off the burrow because that's what killed my frame rate, I think. He's still going nuts with the rocks. There's one over here also fighting a ghost. Rocks are still flying. Ah, you know what? Pull that lever. Let's get... You guys are already stationed there. So to bolt you guys back yet? No, not yet. I'm not sure what to deal with with the burrows are. I think I don't know. It seems to be causing his problems. Well, the dad joke he just listened to smell twice in the senses he didn't have. Did I, did I say smell twice? Did I? <laughs> um. He couldn't hear, taste, feel, see, or smell. Is it rocks getting flown at the, at the camels? This has without a doubt been the the most insane fortress I've ever had. You know, Ratman, that's a bad place to stand. I don't know what you're doing there. But, um... I wouldn't recommend standing there. That's what I'm trying to say. Good. Yeah, go ahead and leave. 
I'm gonna play with the camels here for a minute. I think we got all the goblins. I don't see any more out there. We got a giant cop, giant uh, camels to deal with. Okay. Do a little road building here. Oh, you made it. Hey, Rat Man. Uh, are you, um... I think you're Rat Jam. I think it's who you are. Yeah, you're missing all kinds of things. You're missing your toes and your paws and your legs and your he your your head's missing as well, so you're kind of disgusting. Kogan was found dead. Where's Kogan at? Oh, he got hit by these... Probably these camels. Okay, the rock, the rock brigade, brigade is here. No, oh, my buddy, my, uh, my my freaky thing is there, chasing him around. So many bolts are flying around. A bomb's been found. Where was A bomb at? Oh, he was over here too. Man, those camels. Oh man, better throw some rocks at that guy. Okay, let's claim all these body bits. Uh, don't don't throw those away. Keep those in there, and uh, yeah, don't throw those traps away either. Okay, are they back? I'm still not not back. Um, let's send the daggers of defense off off to go see if they can if they can do something about this. Problem is everyone's like kind of hurt, and, and if someone's hurt, then they're not going to do it. But let's go. Um, let's try to raid. Let's just try to sneak in there and take and get our guy back. That's the main job. Yeah, rescuing is the, is the main goal. I'll send the archers in for that one. Okay, so we got archers. We got a, we got two squads going there. Not many archers left. Hey, Cormac. Okay, more rocks again. <laughs> Throwing around, what are they hitting now? They're just non-stop. This has been non-stop fighting for the pat for for two and a half hours. Is what's happening today? It's been great. We can get people out there out there to go do the job. I want them to do. We'll be in better shape. Uh, let's see. How's the how's the cavern looking? Did we ever clean that up? Looks like there's a troll there. But I think it's it's my troll though. Um, yeah, it's a little ugly down here, but no one's no one's actually here. That that'll help. I'll, I'll go ahead and open this door up. Just got door fortress after watching tutorials. Love it. I just have yet to figure out why all my plants are dying. My plants are dying. Um, plants, are they underground and, and in dirt like this? I don't know. Leopard, leopard folks are in here and they're all mad. <clears throat> Everyone's there but Adil and Cezir. Um, do we know where he's at? 
Sazir, we know, is always having problems. I may kick him out, even though he's a good fighter. I'm gonna kick him out. And then, can I kick you out? I tried to send you before and you didn't make it. Where are you at? I have a lot of name people. I went through and named all these people, and there's not very many of them left. Um, you fine? You're broken. I guess someone that's not in the in the hospital. Zolak is dead. What'd you run into? Another giant camel or something? Yeah, I get it. I get it. Copper looks cool. This Injured. I don't know what to do. I think I think we're about done. I think the fort is about dead. Well, un undead. I can't send anyone any raids because everyone's broken. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel those raids. Just get back here. We'll get our we'll get our buddy back soon. I need you guys to get back here because I need doctor help and all that to get everyone fixed up. We got people dying. It keeps giving me the same name over and over again. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Uh, There's just constant, non stop fighting. My population, yeah, <laughs> see it bouncing up and down. Uh, I get, Aesop is dead. Groves of Bolts returned. You didn't do what you wanted to do, did you? No one's assigned to those. I'm going to get rid of those. Um, is there a good report for that? Daggers of defense. What spoils did you get? You got an axe from somewhere. It must have been whenever we hit dragon knife or something. Oh, we hit that. We attacked him last time. That's what it was. So we'll get everyone in here and uh, 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 patched up and ready to go back out. Ignore that. I don't know why it says it so many times. Unless it's like multiple pieces of him. That could be it. There you go. Throw all those away and all your... All the teeth. Teeth. Camel bodies. Uh, whatever's over here. Throw that all away. Uh, no, the crop, crops aren't a seasonal thing. It's just, um, I mean, they are a seasonal thing, but when they grow, like you, they are only can only be planted certain seasons. But then it takes they take how many days to grow, and then they just sort of pop up. Right. What is going on? Where's, where's this all happening? There's a helmet, snake, corpse, two hump camel. This is all outside, right? I think that's old news. 
Crossbowman is, is fighting. That's old news. Are you fighting anything? No, oh, you're fighting that guy. Aesop's been found dead like 30 times. Now look, Aesop again. I think, I think our fortress is done for. Now, the question is, when I, when this, when I come back, the goal was to come back and to build more fortresses. And to see if we can build our empire up. We're at war with everybody and to see if we can survive doing that. Um, do I want to come back and build another fortress? This is the question. Do I want to come back and build another fortress? Uh, not tonight, but next stream, whenever that may be. And start over. New fortress. Same world, new fortress. Uh, a lot of these folks may come join us. We're going to have some necromancers joining us. And we're going to have to deal with necromancers. Which would be certainly a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> There's an answer. <laughs> um, we have to leave this fort because this fort's done for. This, the frames, the frame rate is telling me this fort is done for. Now, now I'd like to point out, uh, the fort didn't die. Uh, my frame rate is what died. The FPS death is what happened here. And so... Um, Get that out of your mind. There's any sort of like loss here or any problems. <clears throat> There's rocks being thrown everywhere. <laughs> yeah, down a little more FPS. I think my next fort. I'm just gonna avoid the caverns. I don't know. I got what, what? What kind of idea would I do for my next fort? I don't really want to leave this one. I like this one. Yeah, it's only 33. Remember at one point we had, what we hit? We hit like 60-something at one point. Of course, we started this stream tonight with 119 dwarves. We don't have quite that many anymore. Dodecahedron, yeah, that's, that's the idea. Could do like, um... I don't know, you know, like a, like a small, a small, um, we interesting to try, like, I said, was talking about, like, doing, like, like, 50 dwarves, but we want to, interesting to try something like, I'm trying to think, like, we start with seven dwarves, and then, what we noticed here is I got a lot of people coming in that weren't, um, weren't dwarves, and so, like, maybe... I take I only allow my original seven or maybe ten or something like that, and then the um, the only only people allowed after that are people that that asked to join as citizens or for military service or whatever. So my fortress will only be like twenty people, like ten dwarves and ten whatever else, and that's it. So it'd be a tiny tiny fort, and so the the challenge would be to go and. Like, how do you survive military? You gotta have somebody that's really good. We have to have, we'd have to have a lot of, uh, 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 Kinnears. Kinnears would have to be here. Can you guys come back? Are they all here now? Oh, I guess they're still, they're still coming back. Low frame rate. Um, try something like that. And so the, the challenge would be to really specialize and train up a few folks. Like if you, you have to have like a military of like four, and those four have to have like the best gear, and really well trained. Might be interesting to try. <clears throat> like a like a really long like a like a two dimensional like a just just one skinny fort, two squares wide the whole way down. Or three squares wide, guys, for the for the the wideness of the of the workshops. No, the frame rate's back. Okay, we're not dead yet. What a crazy fort. I wish I'd done more uh, down here. 
it's always it's always tough. There's a well going up. It's always tough um, trying to get like I always try to build something interesting like the tower or the pyramid, and then um, and then but then try to make it like look at my look at my tower. My pyramid is just covered in garbage and dead people and and foots and heads, goblin heads and and goblin necks all over my my pyramid. I wish I knew where I put that. I knew I built a statue for for her. I don't know where it is though. Pretty sure I did. Oh, the elves have arrived. These are our buddies. Yeah, but I don't know where it is. I know I built a statue. Maybe I didn't. One of the ones I did um, a long time ago, also that was a lot of fun, was I played a human fort and I made it look like, like I didn't dig down at all, and I made it look like a like a town. That was fun too. And so like carpenter was like a carpenter shop, and so it was like a carpenter building. Um, I think I had like the front room of the carpenter shop was like the carpenter shop, and then like the back room was like the bedroom and the office whatever of the carpenter so I try to keep everything kind of organized that way which would be uh if we had like a small fort with no more than 20 people in it it'd be really easy to keep things organized like this one person this one has has whatever they get and um if you play at a fast enough speed you could get some time really get some time going all right so the elves have arrived um, I have a whole lot of uh, figurines if you want them. There's five of them. Um, I got a lot more than that. They may or not may not be made of wood. Here we go. Elves never have anything any good. I'll just send them that. I can send them a bucket of food. That'll make them happy. That'll be worth some money. We'll see what they've got. If they have anything worth taking, we'll take it. Uh, these are the only allies we have in the world, so I'm not going to attack them. They're only buddies. So we'll be nice to them. Pregnancy of songs. My dwarves ever come back? I'm a little concerned about these guys. They're both still gone. Is there an issue there with, um... The fourth, I have someone no military, only ballistas and catapults. I don't know how that would even work. Aesop. What's the deal with Aesop? Um, a little concerned about this. Let's send someone who's actually here. Where's Daton? Is it the daggers? If I remove Deton, it doesn't say you're still you're there now, does it? Is that the one? No, he doesn't Marksdorf. worry about this. Um, fine. Anyone go there.
Alright. These are all just a bunch of figurines, I think. Yeah. There, you want some figurines? All yours. I always forget there's a, uh, there's a mark all button. Uh, what do you got? You got a dog, you got a grizzly bear. Yeah, I do want a grizzly bear. Water buffalo. A raven. An alligator snapping turtle. Yeah. And a giant wren. I remember kind of nice if, if it work, would fight for me. Yeah, that's all they ever have. Uh, I'm going to give them a, a profit of a thousand bucks. Probably fine. What I could do, actually, I could, I could... I'll trade that. Unwilling to trade. Why? I want to be able to trade now. Oh, because you don't want the bin? Oh, you idiot. <laughs> I don't know how to do. I don't know how to do. I don't have to go click all these. You dang, dang elves. Dang elves. You dang elves. Making me click all this stuff. There you go. Is that, is that good enough for you? Now you're unwilling to trade? Give me that stuff. Get out of here. I know, it's supposed to be my friends. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Been possessed. I'm still working shop. Okay. <laughs> Dang elves. What are they thinking? of rights despite the danger. Why did that just go disappear like that? I'm so concerned about this. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to disband some squads. I don't know if that's a good idea. Like, where are, where are they going? Everyone's gone. What happened to them all? They get lost, lost in transit? Migrants arrived, though. They thought, you know what? What a nice place to be. Tekkad and Doran. Erush. PB834. I think he was in the military. He's real mad already. I think maybe some of you guys were, were in the military and they've just not come back. That's what that, that, and that's what that was. I hope Quinir comes back. Up to 72. This blood's been here the whole time. <clears throat> and they were both humans. This whole squad was mostly humans. Um, they're still there. These guys are all gone still. Hopefully they come back. Uh, does stair layout affect your FPS or they do? Hopefully, uh, yeah, well, um, you definitely want more than one row. You don't want a stairwell of, of one. So the bigger the better. Um, I know a lot of folks use three by three. I did two by two here because my, my, my pyramid wasn't big enough for three by three. There's a gremlin out there somewhere. Um, there he is. But yeah, any, anything that anything that constricts like this is gonna hurt your frame rate. So pathfinding is 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 typically the issue. Not always, but typically, that's the easy way. Uh, you can also like do smaller worlds that helps with pathfinding. Um, Construction, cool, cool. Smaller worlds, and uh, you can do a smaller embark. This is the two by two embark, which I think is plenty good as long as you are willing to go up and down. And this works. And you know, if we did like, like if we had like mountain and a half of this, it's still decent size, two by two. 
I used to do two by three all the time. It was sort of my standard. And that works pretty well also. I do like two by three. That way, like, the the right side or whatever. One, one of the sides would be trees and flat land. And then the left side would be mountains. So you have I have plenty of room to big, dig into the mountains. And I can come out and get trees if I need to. And that usually worked out pretty well. Also, that's a big save on uh, on this. Um, or you can just get yourself a new computer. That, that would fix things, too. <laughs> Waiting for this to get done. Disembark. The right is a lake of blood, and the left is a lake of blood. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's pretty bloody over there, isn't it? <laughs> we wanted to make the elves feel at home when they came to visit us. See if I can get this thing done. This is two by two. Trying to get crafty here. It's craft time again. You know, sit back, just listen to the music. Don't worry about the blood. Just build your forts. Uh, Vampire has made a limestone bed. A limestone bed, huh? I didn't know you could do that. A stone bed? Does seem appropriately dwarfy. You think other dwarves could do that? I should use that bed. I'll put it right here. Let's make people mad. Let's make people, make people real happy. Yeah, Lashaldalzat. Don't tell, tell me about Lashaldalzat. Mournful matches. Good name for a bed. Encrusted with. Cushion limestone cabochons, rectangular magnetite cabochons, cushion pyrolusite cabochons, giant ohm leather, giant eagle leather, encircled with bands of octagon cut sards, menaces with spikes of copper. Sounds dangerous on a bed. It is the image of ocean bolts, the amazement of hustling. The magnetite figurine of dwarves is in magnetites. And the image is, the, uh, is an image of diamonds in giant ohm bone worth 10,000. That's... That's pretty good. 250 grand now created wealth here. Another one? Oh, that's that one. Okay, there you go, buddy. Go get yourself a bed. Who made that? Um, I, know, I know. I remember who it was. Uh, can I claim... I can make this like a bedroom for him. Just... but uh, It looks the same, doesn't it? But let's go say like... Uh, can I say this is just their bedroom? It's a little spot right there. Let me try this. I want dormitory, but I want uh, I want to click on this one and I'm gonna shrink it. Nice. Make a bedroom. And they work. Bad at clicking. There we go. And this is for. Where's that vampire? There you are. You have a decent quarters. How, how is it now? It should be great. No, he didn't make up. He died. One of my guys got mad. Sazir. As a matter of fact, it was Sazir, I think. Got mad, walked over, and killed him. So Sazir has been going mad a lot. 
And I think it's time we, we put an end to this. It's going to be tough, though, because Sizier's a really good fighter. I don't know if we can kill Sizier. Mm, it says they're just reading, though. Maybe they're okay. He's haggard. Just read the book, buddy. I feel so good. Ah, he's fine. More barn owls getting rocks thrown at. Them. Yeah, he walked over here and started punching and killed him. We got a performance troop over here. They must have heard how um, how haggard everyone is around here. Get this fortress clean. Some shambles. Uh, I think I'm going to have to get her out. Replace her with someone. Bimble in there. Anyone has any skills with Logum? Uh, let me let me get a pap out as well. They are both humans. And they may not come back. This good horse can go in there. This was my good squad. Prowl is um, oh chief medical dwarf now. Reg is a master. He's a legendary. See, that's what I mean. So if we did a small fortress with like a small group of people and we had like a whole bunch of legendary folks, I think we could go do pretty well. It'd be an interesting challenge. I'm going to get all these guys out of here. Do -do. Yeah, these guys were all, they're all humans and they've, they've, I sent them on a mission and they ran, they didn't come back. Hopefully they do. I don't know why they would. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to get rid of the squad. And then Locum will put him in here. Wherever Locum is. Locum? Where are you? I know you're good. Bolting, uh, you guys are all archers. I don't think I have any good. The daggers, you're an expert marksman. You should be in here. That's locum. You should be in here. Mm, Cole can handle a bow. Gold, thank you very much for hanging out again. I certainly appreciate it. It is my time to go to bed as well. Well, not as well, but also. Not also either. You know, you know what I mean. So let's wrap. Let's let's find a good finale for this this fort. I think this is gonna be the the last day for here. I don't know if there's anything else we can do with this fortress. I mean, there's a few things, but um, it's gonna take a little while to get there. You know what I mean? I think, I think we put it, stick a fork in it. And I think, you know what? We've done all we can do, but now the AI can take over. The only thing I'm missing is, uh, oh, that tree's messing up my look. Dang tree. Um, we will, we'll let it, we'll let it go down in history and do its thing. Uh, and then we can go and build other fortresses in this world. Do a little bit more of this uh, um, nonsense. I was really hoping to get to get up to a uh, a kingdom, but maybe that'll be for the next the next fortress. It's been a bloody day, Lawler. Very bloody day. Blood, vomit, a lot of rocks getting thrown around. It's been a rough sight. We've got uh, we've got friends like this fella over here, who's our buddy. Um, literally, is literally our buddy. Uh, he, he is one of our things. Um, there's a few dead bodies on the pyramid. Bo the pyramid is, you know, I suppose it could, could be in better shape. But I don't know, I think the, the dead gophers on the side 
give it a nice, a nice appeal. What a crazy day. Crazy fortress. These people's hands just laying on the on the on the place. My copper roofed pyramid. It's so much more uh exciting doing it. Oh, you know what? I didn't we should look at this. An ASCII mode. No, it doesn't look quite a square. What's going on over here? Oh, because of the bridge there. Doesn't quite have the same the same uh, uh, look to it, you know. There's a lot of blood out there. You can see the blood shows up even more this way. The road looks good though. I can't wait till we get texture packs in here. We can start seeing some of the like I've seen this thing in like Vetlinger. I really like the Vetlinger texture pack from the old version. Be interesting to see how this looks that way. I need to push up a button though. Not, not having to go to options. All right, are we done? Do we do this one yet? Can make that. All right, I think um, this fortress is. I think it's complete. He's, he's on his way over to go build a thing. We're at 30 frames per second, so we're, I think... Like, if I could come back uh, again and do more of this, but it just takes so long to get anywhere. I th I have a feeling if we made it to uh, Autumn, we might get a king here. So what I might, what I might do... It's going to take a while to do that. I might just kind of let the thing play. Um, off stream. And just see if we hit that and see if we get our, our people come in. And if someone makes me the kingdom, then that'd be exciting. And I'll tell you about it. That's all, that's all there is to it. I'll just tell you about it. <clears throat> there we go. Our road is done. The tree that's in the way is getting chopped. We have pyramid. Obelisks. It does look really good when you when you scroll up. Except for that dang tree. And the, the, the game tried to kill me, but I don't think it's possible. Even with all the dead things running around, we got a little, we got the rock brigade outside, throwing rocks at everybody. We got the, we got the uh, freaky things out to the south. All right, so let's, let's wrap it up. So, uh, thanks for hanging out for another dwarf fortress run. This isn't it though. We're gonna come back and we're gonna build some more, and we're gonna try something different. If I come up with a better idea, I'll, I'll do that. But we'll build another fortress somewhere around here. If anyone has any ideas of what kind of fortress we should have, uh, let me know. And I'll throw them in the ocean or something. We'll build an underwater ocean fort or something. Or a tiny, tiny fort. All right. Um, he's copping that tree now. Let's get that tree chopped down so we can, you know, at least in on a high note. Just a moment. Thanks for hanging out, Harley. Thanks, Robo. Thanks again for the for the uh, for the sub. There we go. Now, now we got an uh, unobstructed pyramid. Next time we build a sphinx. <laughs> All right. Um, do you want to retire this? I'll retire it because I can save it before. Um. I'll save it first. Uh, name this is this is end of pyramid. I'm gonna retire. I'm gonna go look at legends mode and see what if there's anything exciting that happened that happened here at our fortress. Is there anything exciting that happened in the world that we may have missed? And I, I, uh, so the last time I did this, this, I tried doing this, I did, I think I did a different fortress, like every day, I did a new for every time, every week, I played Wind's Week, a new fortress, and 
I th uh, if I remember right, you want to save a new timeline? Is that what I want to do? I don't know what, what timeline I'm on. This was, this is, um, I'm going to call this Twitch. Um, I, I, the problem was there was a lot of goblins in that world that I, that I played. And so every time I'd like to leave a fortress and go to another one, my old fortress would get overrun by goblins. And so it'd be interesting to see if it still plays out that way. So the, the, the big, there's a ton of goblins here. There's like 5,000 in that place next to me, but there's a lot of humans around as well. We took care of the tower though. Now we are the tower. So it'd be really interesting to see, like, if I play, I actually, you know, I, I've got to come back and do another fortress here because I got to see what happens, like, with the necromancers. Will we become uh, a power with, like, tower things and all that? I want to know. So we can go in here and we're on this one, Everlasting Realms. Let's just take a, take a peek. Let's see what, um, what Legends Mode shows us for our uh, finale here. can't wait for like a legends viewer of some kind because this just doesn't do it for me i need maps we do have just one age so it's still the age of myth um civilizations was reclusive quakes so we were we were founded wherever we were in uh in one and we mostly died it was 46 of us down here but then uh logum left so this is all this is where we regained our senses at the initial period of questionable death. So that's where we left. Does it say anything about, like, um... There's Cog becoming Baroness. And Rakos becoming Diplomat. We attacked some folks there. So we took over in 250. So the... So Reclusus, um, oh, we got interesting things here. The girlish union is the uh, the humans. They attacked. They attacked us. Defeated the uh, defeated us and pillaged the loved canyon. These are the humans attacking us. And then the reclusive quakes accepted an offer of peace from the girlish union, and they swore to support us in a war if the latter did likewise. Well, we became buddies. Uh, the pregnancy of the the elves, who killed I think the other killed the other the other dwarves out there. Held the story of the killing of Dragon Etog, killed a dragon. No, oh, there's where the tower became an enemy of us. Igu, that's the guy that we just killed and took his book. Okay, um, let's see if there's any any. No to, uh, what, who is this, um, Quinier? What was her name? Her. With the name. The glowing rumor of weathering. So she's been around since 234. Oh, 201. She's born in 201. Became a mercenary. Became lovers with some fella. Visited, made, married someone else. A lot of visiting. A lot of wandering around. And in two, oh, she just wandered around a bunch. And then became a resident at Craft Justice, working as a mercenary. And she was a hero. She got a statue made out of her. Mortally wounded by a goblin. And then, um, she did a lot of fighting in the tower. Settled back again. See what happened to her at the end. She left us and went to to Bucklenet, wherever Bucklenet is. She left and went to Bucklenet. How dare you? She's a she was a member of the humans. Bucklenet better not be a human town. Where's Bucklenet? Is it sites? Bucklenet. It's a town. Uh, the Girlish Union founded it. Yeah, the Girlish Union. You left us to go back to the humans. Oh, man. But we hate them.
There's the elves. Uh, the, all the other um, dwarves are dead, I think. Let me take a look. Let's see if, if we go to fortress mode. We'll, we won't continue this, but I'm going to see. We'll come back and do this next time. We'll start up our new fortress next time. <laughs> see ya, Antwerpia. Typically, the problem before was, as soon as I did this, we would die. For instance... Um, for instance... Oh, the wait, wait a minute, wait a minute! Why is it a human fortress? So there you go, in 10 days, the humans took it over? That's not right. Wait a minute. <laughs> see, see what I mean? So we only have... There's 140 of us now, but now they seem to have taken one. They took this one, I guess. This is a new one. They had these two, and they added this one in. This is, so I, I can build nearby, but I can't... The tower is still there. It's still occupied by someone. So I can't just take it back. That's hilarious. <laughs> Humans are here. Yeah. And war with the elves now, too? But not the goblins? I want to read the uh, legends now after this. Alright. Anyway, I gotta go to bed. So, this will be an, an interesting... Interesting world to come back to next time. Alright, thanks for uh, hanging out tonight. Um... I'll see you all. Uh, I what's tomorrow? I I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I'm not gonna be here tomorrow night, um, or tomorrow morning. I should say, but the next day I'll be back. And I'm, I'm probably gonna play. Um, I want to play some universe sim. So I might do a little bit of that. Then we'll come back to this because I really want to see what this where this goes.